All right, all right. This is Cool Nine Five Five playing some Resident Evil One. This time Resident we're going with Chris. Evil. Oh, well, shit. Eh, I forgot to put the timer on. One moment. Boom. Chris Redfield. I'll be quiet and let the cutscenes play. Join you in a moment. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. People don't give these guys credit. This is pretty good. Chris is just like, oh. Kill, run for that house. There are only three Raptor stars dog. members left now: Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. The people shit on this, but this is nice. I love the Jill this Valentine. Game. Sure, it's cheesy, but it's cool. Barry Burton. Especially Barry. Who doesn't love Barry? Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. They should have got these guys to play them in the fucking movies. Resident not the random Evil. bullshit characters. I would have loved to watch this cast together again. Except for Richard. Richard can stay dead. Fuck that piece of shit. His voice acting is so bad. Dad. Oh. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? 
Take care. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Like, legitimately, I fucking hate Richard. Voice acting. It is just so fucking bad. That I just irrationally fucking hate him. Richard in Remake is good. Gotta get used to this knife. Even though I probably won't use it. Sadly, in the director's cut, they still forgot to give us the actual fucking uncensored version. We eventually did get it, but I forget which version of it. But you would think the director's cut would have the uncensored version. But apparently they've released a statement saying, oh, we fucked up. Oh, well. Let's get moving. Dun, 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 dun. Wesker? Jill? I don't know, but I'm taking Jill's gun. Let's hope I don't accidentally do it to Jill what I did to Chris. Spoilers. Oh well, if you're watching this series, you probably watched uh, the first one beforehand, which is was my Jill playthrough. Not the greatest of runs, but hey, it was fun. And at least, if there's one thing you could say about Chris, he could take a beating. Might as well save the ammo. Just because Chris does not have a lot to start off with. Come on, zombie. Though I could kill the zombie in the downstairs and get the extra ammo. Might as well. I hear the ticking again. The ticking of that damn clock. Yeah, I see you down there, you fucking whore. I can't just jump down there with the damn thing. Man, if you haven't played old school survival horror, the first thing you need to know is you need to know when the fight, when the run, and the time th and the choose your moments. Especially in this uh, playthrough. You want, like, if you could force an enemy to go all the way around, do it. Lead them in a circle. Especially zombies, because they will, they're just a lot fucking, uh, what, 
they have a lot harder time navigating the, the map. So, they're going to slowly shamble after you. So if you can make him go around the entire area, fuck it, do it. Killing this guy is going to pay off. Poker playing as Chris as he has that extra health pool. If I was playing as Jill, I'd probably be in the orange right now instead of the yellow. Actually, or I'd at least be in the regular yellow instead of the yellow fine. Yeah, it's like I know I needed this ammo big time to get through the first few areas. Alright, he's dead as fuck. We'll keep moving. Tick, 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 tick. Drink. There we go. Like cold Dr. Pepper. There's only one of the reasons why I recommend playing Jill first is not only is her story usually easier, you also just have more options. You can, instead of how, how Chris has to basically go up on the second floor and go through this area, Jill could go two different directions. And she could get the shotgun a lot earlier, too. Which is nice. Get you back up. And he's down. Oi, oh, you fucker. Two, three. One, two, three. Come on. Damn it! You didn't go down. I'm up. Jesus. And that's why I went for the ammo early. These early zombies are a fucking pain in the ass. Actually, I'm going to cut it off here because I know I'm about to trigger a cutscene. So this has been Core 955 playing Resident Evil 1, Chris. Thank you, and goodbye.